was on camera. And this is not a spring chick. And if you've been watching this, you've been hearing about the shuttle Endeavor going through the streets of LA, which I was so excited for. You've been watching and waiting. Yeah, well, because we had the press material, we knew where the shuttle was, what route the shuttle was going to be taking, where it was going to be stopping, and such and such sort of food. The day before the shuttle was to come and go on the street, we actually went out and drove the route a couple of times to mm -hmm. figure out where things were, and then we we did notice actually that uh, it wasn't exactly where it was supposed to be. It had to get to where it was supposed to be out of the airport. Mm -hmm. And so part of it is we were looking at the time schedules and figuring out where the best place would be for us to go because the, the media area for the shuttle were open up at 10 p.m. at night. The shuttle hit the road and was coming out more than like 2 a.m. Yeah. Um, and it, it really does crawl slow. I mean, that thing takes God off forever because uh, we were... You know, we weren't going to go at 2 o'clock, so we went the next morning around 9-something to where we knew it was going to be parked, and we were amazed at how few people were actually there. Well, we had gotten the tip-off actually on that one, because even the materials that we had showed the route. It didn't say that it was going to stop there. I actually found out from a local realtor where it was going to be parked in the morning, and so I think that was more of a hush-hush, more for a neighborhood thing. And so there weren't really that many people. Of course, it did help that it was a weekday. Yeah, and uh, it, there, were, there were two sides where the people were at. One side had the majority of the people. And when we saw that the other side, of the, which was the uh, south side of the parking lot, had virtually no one over there. Because mm -hmm. no one wanted to go. Uh, okay, what was the funny thing? They, they, there was a, the people were accommodating. They left it open. They left the, the hallway open so you could get from one side of the parking lot out to the street to walk all the way around to the other side. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, you know, uh, but there was always, there were the actual, the people who were trying to turn into the area, old people, that basically, you know, you can't go in here. So they finally had to take and, and barricade the area so that people couldn't even think about turning into the I mean, oh yeah, they had. They, they yeah. couldn't. I mean, the sign said, "Do not turn." The people, the officers, "Don't turn in here. Don't." Turn. And they're and they're basically walking alongside the old guys, telling them, "Don't turn in here." So this sometimes it really does not pay the old. But you know, we walked around. We got some really great panoramas and stuff from that side. Yeah, there were some phenomenal pictures, and we did catch it from both sides because we said, "Okay, we parked here. Let's go around it and then go this other direction." Well, we ended up having to retrace back the steps because. Of the no road way. closures, yeah, they were, yeah. There's no way out. You have to go out exactly the same way you get in. Well, and the tricky part was the sidewalks were closed too. Yeah, we had a real fun time trying to, you know, we had to walk back. We were, you know, we had, we really had to go around, around, I'd say around the mulberry bush to get back to where we could go download the stuff because by the time we had gotten to where we were at. We couldn't go back the same direction anymore. Mm -hmm. So, and, and, and the bad part about it is, see, this is being done right around the corner from where the thing was. Yeah. Yeah. And can you imagine? And there's only one. There's two ways in and out of this housing development, and one of them was closed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that made it real fun. So well, it was just really difficult to get around because. They closed off the street that the shuttle was going on, obviously, yeah. but some of the other side streets were closed. So routes that you might have taken otherwise were totally closed off. Yeah, and then we, we back, we, okay, people stopped their automobiles in the middle of the only way to get back out. You mean like where that, that bus stopped? <laughs> bus stopped, right? I mean, a school bus stopped and nobody could get around, so we had to back, they had to back up, turn around, go back the direction we came and then find another way to get out, which was actually through a, a gas station. That actually reminded me like something out of a movie, you know, where they all stop and that thing goes through. <laughs> like a Will Smith Independence Day movie or oh, something. Oh, God. I mean, it's just like they're falling across the desert. What happened was if you could find a way out, everybody followed you. Mm -hmm. Well, people turned in. People that lived in the area knew that because they lived there. They knew how you wind yourself around. Unfortunately, they parked all their cars in the streets. Everybody, I mean, it's just so ridiculous. I mean, like, and then they go walk over, and uh, it's funny seeing the top, the, the the tail fin of the shuttle going by houses in your neighborhood. Oh, actually, that was really kind of cool. Yeah, so we got some pictures of that, and then uh, we we went out later, 
to, um, to go see it because uh, we saw the first turn. We wanted to see the second turn. Uh, that was not a, you know, people... Well, the, the first turn, actually, uh, here's the part I was surprised about, is when we got there, I was surprised at how close we could actually get because to the turn. Yeah. Oh, God, the wind, the wind, the wind came right over the top of our head. So. That was pretty remarkable. Now, when they call it a parade, it is a parade. Okay, maybe the shuttle may just be one one piece of the pie, but there's all of these other vehicles that are surrounding it because, no, it's not that it needs protection and it's not that it needs the police to escort it. The police are there to make sure that the crowds are back, but it has the, the tree removal. Tree removal, light the California removal. California Edison. You know, uh, the people, you know, the police to try to force people back because, you know, the wing really going over the top is sort of unbelievable, that thing coming over your head. Well, and they did have to clear power poles and they did remove like streets. The street signs, the street signals. Cut people. And then they had to put them back Basically, in. Basically, there was some fencing removed. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, there was the material around the parking lot uh, totally yanked out of the ground. And, you know, they put steel plates all over the place so the thing could, you know, go over sidewalks. And But the second one, the second time, though, it was going to Randy's Donuts. We, we, we got close, but then we, we found out something that uh, we basically changed our mind real quick because the security guy said it's going to stop. It wasn't supposed to stop. It was supposed to go across. Well, because we had the timing as to where it was supposed to be at each point. Yeah. Right? Almost like clockwork. Well, guess what? Well, it was two hours behind the first place we went to. Mm -hmm. over, and then it, they, they said it stopped over by Randy's um, Donuts for like, seven hours or eight hours right. and then well, it went across because well, cause part of it is we i i wanted to go get a picture of the, the airplane or excuse, excuse me the shuttle endeavor crossing in front of randy's donuts and then going across the freeway so we couldn't even get to randy's donuts there was no way to get into it from any direction because they closed the road because the guy said there's a problem the one we're talking said there's a problem with the weight i know he says we have to keep this area clear because it might need to back up here i'm thinking yeah, they, they were prepared to take it all the way back again, I think. But the, around midnight, they actually did, they, okay, what happened was because of the weight, we're assuming they had to stop traffic on both sides of the highway coming and going so it could go across the road. Well, because at this time, we're talking about 4 o'clock on a Friday afternoon, mm -hmm. so it still needed to go across the freeway. So they decided to not take it across the freeway, yep. just in case, yeah, because during could, rush hour. Uh, yeah. And then, then when it did go across the freeway, it was, it really, they, they encountered, it basic it, it was really slow getting to the forum, and it missed its forum date. Oh, it did. Oh, actually, I want to back up for a minute, because over at Randy's Donuts, I was sitting there listening to a live feed, because I'm close enough where I can hear all the, the helicopters, and I'm like, that thing has not moved. I can still hear the helicopters in the same spot. And so, I'm sitting there, listening to a live feed, and I... This is what I just heard on the live feed. It says, think I'm going to eat. I've been looking at this freaking donut for four hours. <laughs> <laughs> because it, it stopped. It was supposed to have been across the thing uh, before rush hour hit, but it got late. And then on, uh, let's see, on, a, on a Friday, it's never a good time to go over the freeway because it's going to be my fault at them. But, so uh, it missed the forum appointment. Missed the forum Everything appointment. Everything got delayed. It missed the, the Crenshaw one was late. Yeah. It went through downtown and hit a few glitches. Yeah, basically, uh, one of the people, it got stuck. They had some things in a way that somebody obviously had not noticed were there. They'd been studying it for months and didn't notice trees and, and immovable objects were in the way. Well, and I also had seen some of the information here in L.A. where they said, in certain areas, the road's very narrow. In fact, please stay in your homes. And a lot of people didn't do what they were told. Of course they didn't. They didn't do it because you can't... Um, it's you know, exciting! You want to go see it! Yeah, well, the trick is it was too wide for some of the areas. We saw some of the things. So the pole, there was a pole right in the way of one of them. Which means I know, I was looking at that, pic that picture that was in the newspaper. And right. they should have pulled... I mean, the pole wasn't in the plans and it didn't get pulled. Mm -hmm. But it did eventually got... It did get pulled, though. Yeah. But it got stuck. It got bottled because it was too heavy for some places. And, and then we saw, there's areas where, I mean, it cleared trees by inches. Oh, yeah. I mean, it basically, because it, it, it can move it to the right and the left a little bit, but not much. So it was, um, and it does have removable wings, folks, but the problem is they, 
the uh, NASA was not going to pick up the cost of replacing the tiles. That would be the Science Center. So but if you, here's the thing is, you have to figure out whether, uh, whether it's worth the cost to the people of the state of California. Because it, um, the Science Center got hit with $10 million fee for all the transportation. They have to replant the trees, which we know since it's the University of Southern California, they don't have the money to do anything. Well, and then also looking at it, it's like, do you know how many police were out there? How many? They had Toyota was out there doing a commercial. Southern California Edison, all the, the sanitation the plant, the people, Atlantic, uh, landscaping people, everybody. Everybody. I mean, it was. Uh, it was a parade of vehicles just to clear the way and then clean up. The I way would afterwards. assume that the money simply went to the, the overtime for all the officers and the people that were involved in it because at ten million dollars would probably. The, we're not even talking about the cost of renovation of everything that they damaged. Well, and also because there's sometimes, I mean, it made me think of like firefighters where they're like round the clock for fires. Yeah. I mean, these guys that were doing it, I mean, things took a little bit longer, but it really was almost like round the clock for the shuttle. Yeah. It, 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 what it was, we're marveling at how many pictures that the people were on on lift taking pictures. It, it reminded me of the fact that my grandmother was a script supervisor. She would take pictures of things or have, back in the olden days, they would sketch out what something looked like exactly before mm -hmm. they did it. They were taking before and after pictures of every inch of the route so that they could show what the thing was like before they had to yank it out or damage it. Oh, actually, that is a smart idea, though. Yeah, it's called litigation. Mm -hmm. You've got to assume the litigate. Okay, here's the trick is. From a standpoint, from a from a historical standpoint and a sta standpoint of community pride, it's a big deal. And it's but huge. If you have got a broke city, a broke school system, and 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 no real is and this won't be covered any ta any tax increase. Does this sound like the Olympics for London? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> that how are they going to pay the bills? I know they will be looking for your donations to the California Science Center. Yeah, Senate. that's what this is all about. I think they got a thing going on at the moment, as we're doing this right now, over there with public viewing and stuff and the thing. But see, we've already got up within inches of it, so we don't have to go to a public viewing. Although I'd really love to get inside that thing, though. I'd like to go inside and, you know, I wonder how close you could actually get to it there. I mean, we were really close. I mean, it literally went over above my head. Yeah. Um, so we were pretty close. We were as close. We were probably closer than anybody at the... Um, that anybody going to the science center is ever going to be able to get to it. Gosh, can you imagine how big of a space they have to have for that? Yeah, because it basically it has to have, uh, you, you either have to tear the side of a building out or, or put a new building around it. You know, I hadn't even looked at is it. Is it going to be outside or inside? It's got to be inside because I don't think, I don't think you'd put something worth a billion dollars outside. Well, then that means... Well, that is a huge building, though. I know. Maybe it's going to be right in that See, way. what we thought we would do is one uh, we, we got a brand new metro system. We thought one day we'd go take the metro system over there because the parking is not really great over in that area. They do have their own parking lot, though. So. I know, but they, char they, they charge you to you park in their parking lot. At the moment. They said, I saw the thing, it said fees may be, in, may be charged for parking in it now. Well, of course. They have to make some money. I know. But for you me, have to make some money for to pay for the shuttle. I'm a senior citizen, which means I don't have to pay as much. So <laughs> I, get a, I get like a quarter to go there. But I guess we're gonna we're gonna hear more about whether there's gonna be lots of grumbling very shortly whether the cost was worth what they did, especially when they could have put the damn thing at the L.A. airport. Oh, you mean? <laughs> Yeah, they could have put it there and put a structure called, I mean, okay, LA. the U.S., University of Southern California has off-campus sites everywhere. They, uh, the, the Science Museum has off-campus. There's all kinds of room over in that one section of the airport where they're dumping trash. Well, they should have simply it put it there. Well, where, that's where the space was for the Science Center. I know, but it's got to do with, with the fact that, okay, you send your bill in because I haven't touched you, but I have a long waiting list to get your money to repair your property. Oh, come on. So I guess until, we'll, we'll do more on this because we actually, go, we're going to go look at the but, Science Center. One but day. go to see the shuttle. It'll be really cool. I think oh, it's, 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 it's not what you think it is. It's really not as big as you think it is. That's true. I thought it was going to be bigger. I mean, it is big, but remember, it's like when you look at the pictures, it was on 
Now here's the part that makes me think about it more. It was riding on top of a 747. Yeah. So do you know how big a 747 yeah. is? Yeah, I mean, it, <laughs> it is from the from the bottom of the wheel to the top of the fin five stories tall. But it's just like, you know, you imagine fly, flying that thing, going into outer space on that thing and coming back to Earth and basically like a, when I said it. Was a, was it's a, very well traveled. It's well traveled. I mean, it really looked like it had taken a bad beating, so I wouldn't have flown in the thing. I could, wouldn't have put enough money on Earth to get me to fly in something that has... Now, we're talking, it's a flying coffin as they describe it because there's no control. What is a glider. Oh, wow. Total glider. And then you hit the ground... You know, you're coming in and the, you know, the heat, well, we already know what happens if the heat shields don't work. Mm -hmm. So, and they're coming in with the nose up, the heat shield, and so that, you know, what happens is they got to develop something like out of a fine, fine movie where you don't have to have tile shop top things to come off, but I guess until next time it's a little gamble. And this is not a spring chicken, and we're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow.